Hi, I'm Rhonda Bosler with Hallmark Business Connections. I'm joined today by Roberta O'Keefe with GE Power & Water. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. We're here today to talk about the customer experience and not ironically, I guess, we met at the Customer Experience Professionals Association mm -hmm. and since then have uncovered we have lots in common and we like to talk about customer experience. So I thought I'd kick off today um, just talking about customer experience in general. It's not new. It's been around since the advent of business. Companies have always um, thought about how they take great care of their customers. So why do you think today we see renewed focus on the customer experience? I really think it's influenced by social media and the way the world has just gotten smaller. Mm -hmm. We're able to contact people across the world like we've never been able to before and influence change that way. So I love to talk about companies that are just now saying we really need to focus on customer experience. So for companies that are looking at this with fresh eyes, where would you advise them to start? The first thing they need to do is ensure that the leadership team is fully engaged. Having buy-in across all functions and having mm -hmm. all of them sitting at the table helping to develop that strategy. But having that CXO or whoever's leading customer experience be the facilitator and the coach to help coach those leaders through that strategy development. Do you think that a company has to have um, a chief customer leader to start on that journey, or can they be successful, you know, in a step-by-step -step process? Uh, I believe it can be over time in a step-by-step -step process. It can come within a marketing organization or the operations organization, but I think, again, it needs to be from the leadership and having clear buy-in across all functions mm -hmm. because eventually you're gonna get to the next point of developing that strategy, mm -hmm. and that's looking at what's your customer's journey. Mm -hmm. Doing a touch point map or yeah. doing a customer life cycle map. And that touches every aspect of an organization. And at some point, you're going to want to go and work with that function mm -hmm. to help improve that customer's touch point or experience with them. And that brings up a good point. The one thing that I see also is you have to have leadership, whether it be from an existing group within an organization or a new group, but you also have to figure out how you're going to measure it. You have to know where you're starting from to be able at least to have those key performance indicators to know that you're making progress Absolutely. or you're not so that what you're working on is um, fluid in that you know you're making progress. Right, absolutely. And there's all kinds of things you can use, stakeholder analysis, um, you know, various tools out there that measure degree of buy-in from uh, a particular person on your project team. And I know one of the things we um, really advocate here at Hallmark Business Connections is that relationship between a customer and an employee. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that valuable um, employee and the impact a culture has on customer experience? Absolutely, employee engagement is key and has to be part of that strategy. Mm -hmm. Customer experience is not just uh, a customer operations or call center strategy. Customer experience is having um, your, not only your culture, but your brand strategy, your marketing strategy, along with employee strategy or engagement strategy mm -hmm. to really make it all work together because your employees are your front line. The employees are gonna influence that experience with your customer. And you get one employee with a bad experience to one customer, they're out there Facebooking and tweeting how horrible their experience was and in, that ends up on the front page of Yahoo. So mm -hmm. it will drive some you know, issues down the road. So definitely having employee engagement, and that can be through training, it can be through uh, understanding the core values mm -hmm. of your organization and ensuring that they live it and understand them as well and understand what the mission of the company is. Um, but I think really living by that golden rule, that's why customer experience has been around for so long living by the golden rule of, I want to be treated the way I would treat others. Mm -hmm. And if you have that humble approach with your employees to help train and educate them that their customer, the person they're talking to on the other line or meeting with, they're influencing that experience. And I know you, we were talking earlier about the impact social media 
has had on creating this need for focus on customer experience. And I think it also creates the need for, for better employee engagement because those employees can also go to social media and post negative things about Absolutely. the company they work for. And sometimes that's more damaging or as damaging as a negative customer review or a customer comment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're representing the company that you work for if you're out there tweeting mm -hmm. something negative. So I certainly would never be out there tweeting or saying anything negative about a company I'd be working for because that only makes not only the company look bad, but you as mm -hmm. well. So you and I both know companies who have tried and fail or continue to try and often it's because the priority of the company or the individual is misaligned. So if there are folks who are struggling to get this the right focus in their organization, mm -hmm. what advice can you give them? That's a great question. I think that that person could look at what do they have control over within their own job scope or within their own project uh, scope and see what kind of change can they influence. It's all about influencing change down the road. And uh, I think that it's hard for some employees because employees want to do the right thing. They want to drive a better experience. But yes, priorities for a business can change overnight. And most of the time, it's because they're financially driven mm -hmm. to gain short-term results. So it is hard to stay in the game. It is. But if you're passionate about the customer and you're passionate about the business, you will find a way to try to influence change within your own control. And I think the other thing I've seen companies do is, you know, some companies are data rich and know how to use it and others aren't. Mm -hmm. And what I find is with all companies, they have some type of data. Mm -hmm. And if you can dive into that and find little nuggets Absolutely. that will help um, validate that it needs to be focused on and worked on. Yep. I've yet to find a company that can't dive into that data to find something that can't be used to make the case. And sure. I always tell them, go look at your data, go see if there's something in there that will help you make the case. Absolutely. Data is your evidence. Data is that evidence to help your, state your case with management or anyone. And so if you have customer satisfaction scores, take a look mm -hmm. at your trending. Take a look at how, how is it, how is it how have they improved or not improved over time? But not only that, but dig into why. Dig into, are there questions there that um, are giving you some insight or verbatim mm -hmm. comments that can help give you an idea of That's where where you can improve upon and you can take that to that function or that functional manager to say, hey, customers are really complaining here about X, Y, and Z. What can we do to help improve that experience? And that can help drive business process improvements. So if you look in your crystal ball and you look out a few years, is there anything that we haven't talked about today that you think people working in the customer experience profession should be looking at? I think one thing that needs to be uh, included in what they're looking at is how can we better predict um, the way we service our customers? Customers are going to be in the driver's seat because of the way the world is getting smaller. They're influencing change more now than they ever have before. And I would just add to that that technology is driving a lot of that. On both the customer side, where they're using more mobile devices, tablets, Absolutely. they're interacting with companies in new, different ways through social media and forums. And on the company side, the technology is really improving to be able to use predictive analytics, to be able to, to predict some of those events for customers so that they are more proactive in um, dealing with issues before they come up. Exactly, and that just leads into a better customer experience for the customer. I think that's a great place to close. Thank well, you so much. Thank you for having for me. For joining me. I appreciate it. <laughs>